Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Saturday Morning Makes. Um, my name is Venus Vincent, and for those of y'all who don't know what that is, it's an art collaborative that Miss Jillian Norwood has started years ago. I forget how many years, but uh, if you like art or crafting or crocheting or any kind of crafting or art that you like to make, you can join in with us and you would uh, upload your video with the hashtag SatMornMakes and show what you love to do. Um, so I've got some more cards for y'all. Uh, I also have another little project that I started working on and finished, so I'll just get started. Uh, this little card is just, it was so fun to make. This is from, let's see here. This is from Clear Stamps Art Impressions. And it comes with the die cuts. And it also obviously comes with your, your clear stamps here, okay? And this one is, let's see if we can look at that together. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, this is called Christmas Mice Set. So this is just a precious little set, I love it. I got this last year. So I went ahead and started playing with it. I colored these with some Zig watercolor markers. And I enjoyed the vibrant colors. Um, I love their little feet. Look at these little feet. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just made a little scene. Um, I stamped out my couch with my mice on it. And that's all one stamp and colored it. And then I die cut out the little presents here. Uh, I die cut out the little table that's got the cookies. Um, it says, for Santa is what that says on there. And then just use some of my gingham paper and stash paper that I have. Um, and this is the inside, it's just real simple. I think this is actually from a different stamp set, but just, I kept it simple. Happy holidays from our fam to yours. And this is another stamp from the little Chris Mice uh, pack. And I just kind of stamped that in the corner and just kept the inside kind of simple. But I love this here. It says Merry Chris Mice. <laughs> I just thought that was too cute. And on the back, I used that stamp from... Uh, Colorado Craft. Um, I think this is a Anita Jerram Ger, or Jerram, Anita Jerram stamp, uh, and it says "Made especially for you." I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up or not. I'm kind of having a little trouble with my vision. Got my glasses on, so hopefully y'all can see that. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's that card. Uh, the next card I made uh, is from a Goodwill find. It's from this little, I found this at Goodwill. And I'm just finding all kind of cute stuff. I've actually found this last year, I think. This is called Patchwork, sorry, I'm out of frame. This is called Patchwork Snowman. And let's see if it tells us where he's from. Oh my goodness, this is actually a penny black stamp. Those stamps are usually kind of spendy, so I love them, though. I've gotten a couple, but yeah, so Goodwill, Salvation Army, stuff like that, any kind of thrift store, always look in your craft section because I tell you what, you can save a lot of money and get some great, great products. Um, to me, wood stamps are still just such a go-to and uh, so fun to have. I also like to have them kind of displayed on my shelf, too, just because they're pretty. They're pretty little pieces of artwork. Um, so, yeah, that's that guy. And here's the card I made with him. And I just watercolored him real softly. Not a lot to it, really. This die cut here I've had forever. I think it's one of the ones I got on Amazon. Now, the snowflakes, see how I layered those up? And then put like a little gem there, a little embellishment there and here. These snowflakes actually come from 
I think this is Sizzix, yeah, Sizzix, a Tim Holtz Sizzix collaboration, and it's di these die cuts, and my packing, packaging is a little wonky here, but let's see if I can show you all the number there. It is 661599. Uh, I don't think there's an actual title to it. I think it's just the numbers. Unless I'm missing something. But anyway, I love these. You can take and lay a whole bunch of these onto a piece of paper. Run it through your die cut. And just make a ton of snowflakes in different color papers. Like I'll run a glittery sheet, a pink sheet, a blue sheet. Whatever kind of color you want. And then I just gather them all up and I put them in a little container. And then that way, if I want to make a card, I'll just pick through my little stash, figure out what color goes best, and that way I'll have stuff like this to kind of use for embellishments on my card. And this paper is just, again, stash. I'm trying to use mostly stash. Uh, and this is the inside. This came from a different stamp set. I don't remember exactly which one. Um, and this is just some uh, ephemera that I had. I've got a bunch of ephemera packs that I bought last year, and I'm going to try to use up all those. And this is just a little random tiny snowman stamp. Yeah, so that's him. All from a Goodwill stamp. I love it. I love Goodwill. I love any kind of thrift shop. Uh, now, the back of it got messy. <laughs> Uh, I didn't clean off my surface very well, and it just had, so what I did is I came in and just kind of distressed it and made it kind of look like I did that on purpose. <laughs> and again, here's that little stamp, that little mouth stamp that I use for the back sometimes. So, yeah. Well, that's that card. And I made some little tags. Just real simple. Literally, all this is is just a piece of ephemera. That's all this is. I didn't do anything special with it. I uh, just thought it was really cute and pretty. So, I put them on some uh, gingham paper. I did die cut them out with... Let's see, where is this guy? I think this is one of the Impression Obsession stamps. Or did die cuts, rather. Sorry. Um, it's got that kind of torn edge look to it. Uh, so yeah, I cut the ephemera out with that die cut and then just put it on some gingham paper, put a ribbon, a little tiny jingle bell. And so you'll notice some of my tags and things will have these little tiny tags. And I'm sure y'all have been watching these YouTube videos with us here on Satmore Makes probably knows where that came from. But I'll show y'all anyway. It's Lily of the Valley. And uh, they've got a whole set of these little stamps here. You can also get digital printouts of these as well. Uh, but yeah, there's just all kind of stuff on here. So they're perfect for the tags. So that's because they're just kind of small, you know, and fit right there on your little tag. So there's that tag there, just real simple. Then I made this tag. This has several things on it. The candy cane, I don't remember where. I just don't remember where I, got, I did this. It was in my stash. I got a, you know how you make a bunch of things uh, and wind up not using it and kind of put it in a little a little cup or Tupperware or something for use later. That's what this is, and I ha I can't remember where I got it. <laughs> or if it came from a die cut or a paper pack, I really don't remember. Um, but yeah, this little tag uses this die cut, and this die cut is from Impression Obsession. I believe this might be an Anna White design. I can't remember. I don't know that it says that, but it's this one right here. And it says, T. Coco, die 902 U. That's this die. So that's here. I used some of my craft paper, and then I just used some glitter. 
this craft paper. And on the edges, I kind of distress the edges with some tea dye ink to kind of make it look like it's toasted. Um, and this little gingerbread, I don't think I have the packaging, but it did come from Sunny Studio. So Sunny Studio, and it's got the little girl and the little boy ginger there with some little hearts and a couple little sentiments. So I used, that's what I used here. So I just colored this out with some Copic markers. Um, I had some pretty ribbon. I love these colors, that more country vintage kind of green. And I guess it's like a cranberry red. I don't really know, but I, I love it. Like a burgundy more kind of. Those are my favorite. And then I had this little guy just in my little stash. And again, this is from the Lily of the Valley, another stamp set. Or like I say, you can get the uh, digital download and print these out too if you want from Etsy. Uh, Lily, Lily, oh, sorry, Lily of the Valley. And she's got these as well. And there's all kind of little tags there that you can add to whatever. I love this. I think this year for Christmas, most of my gifts are going to be handmade. I make like homemade like comfrey salve and yarrow salve and um, lots of like fire cider and vinegars. I make a bunch of stuff like that. I'm going to also make like uh, some hot cocoa mixes and baked goods, of course. Uh, and when you're doing that, you can have your little card and your little tag that can go along with that, like with your hot cocoa mix. I think that would be so cute just to have like a like a mason jar with some cute little hot cocoa mix in it. Wrap some pretty ribbon around it with this tag hanging off of it. Yeah, I just think that's too fun. This gives me actually ideas. <laughs> so yeah, that's these tags here. And then I used some of my uh, Diana Markham gingerbread. It's time to whip all that stuff out, you know. And I made this card here. I love her. I think she's so pretty. And I just used some paper that I had in my stash. Um, I colored her with Copic markers. That's that E37, that brown marker. Um, of course, I used a little gel pen to kind of do some little highlights there. Now, the collar and the bow, that is, if you can see it, that's uh, a real Maha. Uh, am I saying that correctly? Oh, dear. A real Ma Maha shop papers. Um, Y'all are probably familiar with that. Uh, Miss Jillian Norwood uses her papers a lot. So you can find her on Etsy. Etsy and um, I just print uh, all kind of her papers. They're just absolutely stunning. So that's what these are. Kind of paper pieced it there. Uh, and then just layered it up with some of my die cuts. Now right here. I don't know if you can see that. That is a what they call a piercing plate. And I'll show you that guy. That's this guy. It's from Memory Box. It's called Pinpoint Snowflake Plate. I don't know if you can see that. And that's the style model number right here. If you want to get it. And it's just beautiful. For backgrounds, it adds just a different kind of texture to your card. You know, just another layer of texture there. And I just think that's so neat. And then back here in the background, I embossed the die cut it and then embossed it with this guy. Um, gosh, I don't know where the heck I got this one. I just don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's precious. It's just very delicate. It's very soft, and it just makes wonderful little texture in the background there. And the, the Diana Markham stamp that I'm using, of course, is this girl right here. So there's a little boy ginger, too. I want to do him next. Um. Uh, so yeah, that's this card. Let's see, and I did the inside, and I just used some uh, 
on more of that Arala Miha shop paper in the back. It's the same paper that was in her uh, little collar and her bow. I just carried that through to the inside. And I carried that pink gingham through here with this little, little banner piece. And um, this is just a ephemera that I had too. I think this sentiment too is from a stamp set from LOTV Digi Shop as well, which is Lily of the Valley, if y'all don't know. They, this, they're also known as LOTV Digi Shop. I think that's how you find them on uh, Etsy. So yeah, that's that card. This sentiment I got from a completely different stamp set. It says Gingerbread Kisses. <laughs> and again, here's that little little mouse stamp. I love that one. So, that's that card. I've got one more card. It's not really Christmas theme, but, and I haven't done the inside. I feel like I'm going to send this to a friend of mine who's kind of, you know, just having a time and needing a friend, and I figured we'd get together for some coffee, so I'm going to send this to her, and it says, maybe coffee will help, and it's showing Pooh's little sweet, fat self trying to get up in there in that coffee cup. That's, that's pretty much me every morning. <laughs> so, anyway, um, and this is just real simple. I just watercolored this picture in the background. I kind of distress it with some Tim Holtz distressed ink. I think it's a vintage photo and tea dye and then I kind of splattered it and with water and when you do that you'll get these random spots you know you splatter it with water and then you take a paper towel and kind of dab at it and it picks up that excess color leaving those white splotchy marks and I just love that look now I don't know if y'all can see it or not I'm having a hard time seeing this morning I don't know what the deal is so Maybe my camera's dirty. Anyway, um, I have very lightly stamped onto here, maybe too lightly, that basket weave or worn linen. And that's, again, this I showed y'all this the last time, this worn linen stamp made by uh, Impression Obsession. Again, it just gives you wonderful background. Now, here you might be able to see it better because I did like a, a an actual full impression of that worn linen on this particular piece of paper. I did little splotchy pieces here, but then a full impression back here so you can see that. I just love it. It's one of my favorite stamps. I think it's so perfect. But anyway, um, yeah, I love the impression. I forget the artist who's doing this particular one for a impression obsession, but if you go onto their website, Literally, all you have to do is just put Wing of the Pooh stamps or Pooh stamps, uh, and you'll see the whole collection. There's a whole bunch, uh, and I want to get more because I just love these. And I love the watercolor. To me, watercolor is my absolute favorite thing to do. This is actually one of my favorites. It's super simple, but I just, I just love it. So that's this one in here. One more thing I'm going to show y'all. It's not a card, and I kind of got a hair and wanted to try something different. So this is a, a Dollar Tree frame. It was actually a different color altogether. I painted it with some chalk paint. Let's see here if I can get a better kind of overall view of it. Uh, and what I did was I painted my frame. This is just stuff that I've had in my stash, you know, for crafting and decorating and all that kind of thing. A lot of it I've gotten from the Dollar Tree. I think this is from the Dollar Tree. Uh, same with all these little pieces here. And, uh, oops, sorry about that, y'all. And this was just leftover things from decorating. And this ribbon, do you know where I got this ribbon? It actually was wrapped around uh, a package of bedding. I have an Airbnb, and we get new bedding often. And you know how they kind of wrap the package with the ribbons? Well, I save all those ribbons. Uh, my husband thinks I'm crazy because I, I save everything. <laughs> 
but I'm like, I'm telling you, someday I'm going to use this. And I loved the color, too, so I knew for sure I'd use it. But, yeah, look at that. Look how perfect. It matches this paint. Uh, so I thought, my God, what a great use for that. Now, this is a stamp from Woodware. And I'll show you that real quick. And I don't think it has the name of it or name to it. But I love woodware stamps. That's what this guy is. It does have a number here, and I don't know if you can see that or not. I can barely see it myself. I'm going to try to read it to y'all if you want it. It's F as in Frank, R, S, 8, 2, 9. But she's just so beautiful with her little baby, and I just, I'm in love with the stamp. And I thought, well, my gosh, how cute would that be as just a, a decoration? You know, um, sorry about that. I'm trying to show y'all the full piece of it here. And the colors that I used, I watercolored, I watercolored it, first of all. Uh, secondly, I came in and highlighted it with some white gel pen in certain areas. I distressed the outside with like vintage inks and stuff like that. Um... I actually watercolored it with uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Uh, I've, I think that's my favorite watercolor medium is Tim Holtz Distress Ink. You can use the pads, and I've recently discovered that you can use uh, the ink refills. Well, I, I just never thought to use them before, so, and that actually gives you a darker, richer, amazing uh, outcome when you use the refills. But yeah, I just kind of came around the edges, um, distressed it. I put some white uh, gel pen splotches for the snow. And I also splattered it with some golden ink. And I'm just in love with this. This is my favorite. So this is actually going to go in my, uh, when the time comes to decorate for Christmas and winter, I'm going to put it out there in my living room. So anyway... That is it, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'm having so much fun doing this, and I'm thank you for all the people who have been commenting on my videos and welcoming me back into the community. Uh, <laughs> it's been so much fun. Okay, thank y'all. Um, I'll see y'all next Saturday. Okay, bye.